weird thing going on with my lights. Mm. Only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What's up guys, this is Charles from Hero Wars Central, and I'm just going to do a recap of the um, the Facebook, uh, YouTube pages, 180,000 subscriber live stream that the, um, that the devs, Alex and Tanya, just uh, just put on just a few minutes ago. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a good watch. They break down the adventure mode pretty well. I would recommend anybody going and taking a look if you've got some time, but if you don't have some time, um, this video will be short and sweet. I'll have some, uh, some pop-ups to kind of show a little bit about what happened uh, in the video as well as the gift that they gave out to everyone that watched at the end of this video, so uh, stay tuned. Um, if you're new to this channel, I do videos about Hero Wars, and I have a Facebook account and a mobile account on my iPhone. Um, I primarily do videos for the Facebook version, but I, uh, I'm happy to uh, chat with anybody about the mobile version as well. I do have a, an account that I'm leveling up there as well. Um, if, you like, uh, if you like what you see, please take a second and hit that like button, um, turn on notifications, and uh, you know, please consider subscribing. So basically, what this was, was a video all about the adventures. Um, and uh, first of all, man, I'm really washed out. I'm not sure what's going on with my lighting today, guys. Weird. Huh. Um, <laughs> so the uh, the adventures come out in November, likely in November. They said that they're, they're trying not to push it back too far, but it's still... Um, uh, it's still a little rough around the edges from what I what I saw in the in the video, but that's okay. It looks great, and um, they're not planning on pushing it back. So November is when it's going to happen. It's going to be Facebook only, um, not on mobile, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully, sometime soon. But it is going to be in the Celestial City, which is the place where the uh, the Titan Dungeon, the Titan Sounding Spheres, uh, all of that is taking place. It's going to be a, a new location up there called Sanctuary. And within it, there's going to be four locations. There's the um, the the arena, the the buffs, uh, the summon, and then the um, the, the merchant. Um, I'm sorry, the group tab. Excuse me. Uh, you'll you'll see. <laughs> and and these uh, these four tabs make up the sanctuary. And um, I'm just going to kind of as I'm as I'm running through some stuff here, I'm going to go in the order that they talked about. And then I'll post up uh, screenshots while I'm talking so you have something to look at. So every day there's going to be a new set of buffs given out um, for your team. And your buffs are going to be different from your uh, your friends and guildmates at buffs. And the idea is you group up with two other guildmates. So you have um, a group of three. And then you... You run through this, you know, the map, the adventure, whatever you want to call it. And you, you know, you fight your way to the boss. You fight the boss and there you go. Each... Adventure to start requires a portal charge, and you get one free portal charge per day. You can max up three, so um, you can save up a couple and then you know do three in one day if you want, I guess. Uh, there's no way at this time to get additional ones. You won't be able to buy any more. You won't be able to get, uh, be given any more in any, um, any, any reward chests or giveaways, so they did mention that. They did want to mention that. And there's going to be several maps um, of varying difficulty. The map that they chose today is going to be um, the second tier is what they said um, but you know it's you'll see that they, they take care of it pretty easy but there will be some more difficult maps with um, greater rewards you'll have these little red uh, lightning bolts and you can see that each each uh, person in your team has the lightning bolts and what these are these these are the amount of moves that you have so why they limit the amount of moves is so that one person can't go in and clear out the whole map the whole adventure by themselves you have to do it with a group if you want to um, clear all three lanes. And the reason why you want to clear all three lanes is because they have these things called the Harbinger's Eye. And the Harbinger's Eye, whoops, are little towers that um, <clears throat> that shoot laser beams. I'll show you, you know, in the, the pop-up there, um, towards the enemy teams and they give buffs to the enemy teams. So as you're working through the paths, you'll you'll clear those out and uh, you'll clear one for your, you know, for your friends so that they can clear the next one and then uh, as you get to the end, there's uh, there's buffs on the um, on the boss that you really need to clear out. So, again, the idea is you know, there's twelve <clears throat> there's there's three people on your team. They each have four moves. Twelve moves total should be enough to clear out the uh, clear out the adventure just fine. Um, and then as you win, you'll feel the the loot bar at the bottom. And um, you know as you you know as you kind of run through it, you'll you'll see that. 
Uh, the further you get, the more chests you get. And then, of course, if you defeat the boss, you get the big chest at the end, which is great. And then, um, you know, so uh, there's a new a new cool, uh, cool new arena background to fight on. I hope it becomes available in the uh, player kit soon. I'd love to use it for, you know, some of my thumbnail uh, wallpapers. And then um, there's a little altar of power right before the final boss. And the altar of power gives your team a buff. And then each each of your um, two guild mates can also uh, choose one of the buffs as well. And then you you know you get three cracks at the boss. You know, first player takes him down, great. Um, maybe you need second or third try. Um, that's okay because you got three tries to get that boss down. So that's kind of cool. And what what's kind of interesting is is the um, is the boss is going to be corrupted version of an existing hero. So in this example, the devs had, uh, the community managers, I should say, had a corrupted version of Ginger, and she looks really cool. Um, the art style is pretty cool, and uh, it'll be different every week. So the idea, the aesthetic of this this new um, this new mode is that it's it's corrupted. The enemy teams are corrupted because we've supposedly already finished the campaign, and um, so this is kind of the next part of the story, I guess, if you will. Um, yeah, so there's gonna be um, there's gonna be a lot more, probably a third article written. But the whole uh, the whole point of this, it looks like, is to level up, to summon and level up pets. And I've heard them mention, and I've read the you know previously that the the point of the pets is to increase your um, increase your efficiency, increase your power in the adventure mode, and possibly in other modes as well. I kind of hope not. I hope it's just part of this. I hope it's not something that I need to level. Um, for arena or grain arena <clears throat> that'd be i don't know just one more thing to, to manage but you know it's 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 whatever and they're going to do a whole other video based on that on the pets so they you know the the rewards in the chests are pet resources um probably similar to looting artifact components for um, your hero's artifact uh, weapons and books and rings so probably something similar to that and uh yeah hopefully we'll learn more in the, in the future um, then, of course, as they do on every uh, every live stream, they give away five prizes. Uh, I did not win, unfortunately. Uh, they already gave the prizes away, so please do not um, comment on this video looking for the prize because I don't have the prize to give. I do not work for Nexters. I uh, do not work for Hero Wars. I'm just a guy uh, running uh, running videos. So kind of cool there. And then finally, they gave a giveaway to everyone that is watching, and I'm going to post that image um, on the screen now. And I'm also going to put a link to that. And again, this is a Facebook reward. I'm going to put a link to that reward in the description in the um, uh, down below this video. So check that out. And uh, I'll also overlay the um, the contents of that um, that reward um, um, now. So with that being said, we are uh, we're about seven and a half minutes, eight minutes. Uh, it's probably a little longer than I wanted it to be for a recap, but you know here we are. Uh, please enjoy uh, the full live stream if you have time. It's a little bit longer, but um, you know if, if you don't have the time to catch up, then this is uh, this is you know this is what I'm doing this for. So um, if, again, if you liked the video, leave me a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike uh, or go watch somebody else. I don't care. Um, the you know please leave a comment. Please consider subscribing. And um, this has been Charles with Hero War Central. I will check you guys next time.